Hello everybody. Well, we've turned off pretty chilly here in Missouri and uh, old guy's got the feeling that he needs to push hard to get everything ready for winter. So I can hear the tractor up here, but I'm going to go see what he's doing. Because as soon as he's finished doing that, I want to drag him off to find some persimmons. We've had a couple of good freezes and so I think the persimmons ought to be about right to eat. taken a long time for the trees to get pretty out here, but I believe they finally have. We've had a couple of good frosts lately, and so our persimmon should be edible where they aren't bitter. So we're going to go back and give them a try. Possibly to meet, beat us to them. Looks like we have to tromp through the weeds to get there. Yes, that's buckbrush. It's got lots of berries on it, doesn't it? Got caught by a rose bush. I think it's a rose bush. It's all on your face in the rose bushes. Right over there is our usual persimmon picking place, but from this distance, I'm not seeing them. So we're gonna to go to a different place where I know there are some. But before we go looking at the other tree, let's take a little hike in the woods. Look at this. That's a tree that fell over, but the base of it looks like it's been on fire. Huh. Kind of interesting. in the woods. We live in the woods that's made up mostly of oak trees, all different kinds of oak trees. But out in here we have found a little cluster of maple trees, only like, well right now I can see at least four. Wanted to see what it looked like in the fall. Very pretty, but it's really crowded out by all these other trees, so I don't know if it can ever get very tall. I really like maples. They're one of my favorite kind of trees, and we don't have very many of them on our property. <laughs> well, that little trip to the back part of the property didn't work out very well, because we didn't find any persimmons in the place that we usually do. Find quite a few, but as I said, I, I do know where some are. They're up by our house. I just thought it might be fun to go back there, and we did, in fact, get a nice little tour of the back part of the property but now we're going to go up to the other tree and taste some persimmons so we came back to the house so that we can go check out this persimmon 
tree that's right over here at the uh, end of the pond dam. I think we might be able to see some pretty trees over here too. Ladies first. <laughs> Ladies first. Very good. Yes, they are. They're very good. We got a little bit of bitterness right at the end. If you ate this persimmon right here, you would get a bitter, horrible coating in your mouth that you can't get rid of. But see this one is soft and squishy. So it would be a good one to pick and eat. It's fully ripe. That one's very nice and ripe can't go out and eat a few persimmons in the fall without opening up a seed or two to see what's inside. Other folklore tells us that what is inside a persimmon seed lets us know what the winter is going to be like. So when I opened it up, I got this. I very clearly got a spoon. If you get a spoon, that means that you're going to have a lot of snow this winter. If it's a knife, it means that it's going to be very cold because it's a cutting cold wind winter. If you have a fork, that means you'll have a mild winter. We've been, we've been kind of thinking we might have a lot of snow this year, just, I guess, kind of a gut feeling, and so the persimmon seed agrees with us. I always like going out and eating a few persimmons in the fall. Uh, one year I made persimmon jam or something like that, but it was, it, if you get even a little single piece of the bitter, unripe persimmons in it, it turns out horrible. So to me, it's not worth the risk of picking a lot of persimmons and doing all the work to have it end up not good. Uh, so I just go out into the woods where we go and find some persimmons and eat a few of them and feel satisfied until thank you for joining us. And hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, our channel, give us uh, a thumbs up and also subscribe. We appreciate your subscription. We enjoy reading your comments. Until next time. <laughs>